Hello everyone, uh, this is Mimi and I have another crafty quick project that I want to share with y'all. These are some metal, um, beautiful fabric, dully embellished hearts that I just finished doing. And so I decided to do a little quick uh, tutorial on this one that I'm going to make. And um, they I made these out of metal hangers. And just to show you what they might would look like on a journal here, here's my Mabel's journal that I have for sale in my Etsy store. And I thought they would look cute in a journal where you could just kind of embellish them on a page and something that's removable. So, um, you know, just kind of incorporate them in your work or, you know, hang them up in your crafty room, one of your rooms to be so cute, I think. And uh, I just, these are so much fun to make and you can just use all your little scraps and stuff to decorate them with, and that's kind of what I did. Um, here is another book that I have for sale, and it would show you the pink one that's kind of where you could kind of embellish it on the front. You know, I just kind of was showing you a little bit of ideas about, uh, you can use magnets behind them and stick them on there. Or just how pretty they would look with something that's similar to the same color. All right, well, let's get started. And here is a metal, heart that I have taken and entwined all the way around it with some fabric that I had just kind of torn strips. And what I did was I just fabric tacked it down a little bit on, on an edge there. And then I started just twining it all the way around, all the way around. Um, there's, you know, you can get some, some wire that comes in rolls uh, at the, any of the craft stores. Uh, I thought the hangers were a little bit harder to work with, and some of them I made with just regular wire that I had. So um, it's just up to you what you want to use. But, you know, you can make angel wings, just all kinds of neat little things that you can make with metal wire. And then you can take and do a lot with it. I think it looks cute just like that. I mean, you could even stick that on the wall. I think it's pretty, like, just the way it is. But I decided to cover this one with, um, kind of go with a the peachy theme. So I've got some stretchy, peachy fabric here that I am going to cut, and um, I decided to cut it. I cut two pieces, one for the front and one for the back, because it putting two pieces of fabric on it kind of stabilizes it a little better where you can embellish it. So what I did was just cut that out, and then I uh, put some Fabri-Tac around as I glued it down and kind of stretched it so it would fit uh, kind of tight, you know, on the heart itself. So anyway, um, I, this one turned out really pretty. I can't wait for you to see the finished product, but I just continued to stretch this fabric out here. You see what I'm doing here? Oh, and the gloves. I have to I have to tell you about my gloves. I got the gloves on because of the Fabri-Tac because, you know, Fabri-Tac just tends to stick to you as much as it sticks to everything else. So I thought, well, I'm going to wear my, my gloves because um, if I have, if I don't have them on, then everything sticks to my fingers and I can't, I can't do my projects very good. So I've got where I wear gloves with them. So that's just a quick tip. I'm sure a lot of y'all already know that, but, um, that's something that I do, and it's like I said, it kind of helps helps me a little bit because Fabri-Tac is just like most people say we have a love hate relationship. We love it, but we hate it because it does get on everything, um, your fingers mainly. So you can see where I cut this out, and I left it kind of on the edges. It's not perfect, which is fine because um, you know that's kind of. Uh, I'm going to actually sew around that with some embroidery thread here in a minute. So what I'm going to do now is I've cut out another piece here and I am going to glue that down. Same technique. Just use my Fabri-Tac and glue it down and uh, just kind of, like I said, stretch it again so it's nice and, and tight and just continue all the way around your project. And, th you know, this is a fun project. I really enjoy doing this. I, again, I, I'm trying to do a few different things, so um, I had fun doing these at my mom's, so I decided to do a few at home. 
So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the embroidery thread and I am going to actually loop all the way around that just kind of sewing like a just an in and out stitch. And embroidery thread uh, I did notice tends to kind of tangle in the back so you have to be careful because you can you can easily get a knot in it which I did several times and I had to kind of work it out and I don't know I mean if you if you know a way not to make it do that let me know because it is very I don't know why it tangles so bad but it does so I had to really really watch what I was doing but I thought it made it turn out really pretty just putting this stitch all the way around it kind of gave it a finished look to it and um, I kind of did it on a, uh, an angle and um, I think it even made it look even prettier so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just kind of looping that around and I'm just kind of showing you what I did and I just kind of got some coordinated um, embroidery thread and used with it. But, you know, you could use any color. I think even a, an off-white or a white would look pretty on there. So just whatever you have on hand. And you could even use regular thread. It's just not real, it doesn't really matter. And you don't even have to do this step. You could actually glue it all the way down, all the way around. You don't have to put the thread all the way around it. That was just something I decided to do. I didn't do it on my, my other two hearts that I made. So, it was just something new that I decided to do on this one. I've seen a lot of these hearts. Um, this is nothing new, not a new craft. I mean, people have been making these for years. So, it's just, um, I decided to do a little tutorial on it for my take on it. Okay, now here is the stuff that I'm planning on using. I got all these things from my stash. And I'm showing you where I made some more uh, hearts, some bigger ones, out of the this hanger that I got from the um, cleaners and my husband's shirts come on and here is my angel wing that I made up and I've already wrapped it and I'm gonna do a similar technique to it uh, and fix it up real cute it's kind of bigger though okay so I'm going to use Fabri-Tac glue and hot glue to um, glue all this down because I find these two work the best for projects like this for me anyway. So it's showing you kind of what it, I'm going to plan, plan on putting on there. And this beautiful picture here, I took and zigzagged around it on a piece of pretty scrapbook paper. And I actually have this picture in my bed, in my one of my spare bedrooms. So I love this picture. I've, I've seen this picture at an antique store one time. And the lady wanted about $80 for it. And I, my room is done up in kind of a turquoise -y color and seafoam green. And so I was like, mm. at the time, you know, I said, I, I can't pay that. I'm, I have kids to raise and, you know, it's just too much money. I wasn't going to spend $80 on a picture, even though I loved it. And so years later, I found a, the same picture. I, I'm sure it wasn't the same that the lady had, but who knows? Um, at a Goodwill and I got it for like ten dollars so I was so excited when I when I got to bring that picture home and I took the frame that was in and just kind of redid it and did a little bit of uh, different finish on it and it just I love that picture it is so pretty I always wanted red hair and I have a little tint of red in my hair but used and most of it's from a bottle but um, I love red hair and I think it's so pretty so there is a I'm using an old dolly there that I have taken tea dyed and I'm putting just some pearls on there and some ribbon and I'm just getting some peachy colors from my stash and there is some beautiful rose ribbon that I have there too that's just gorgeous I actually made um, this rose here by uh, with some stretchy knit fabric that was kind of a peachy color that I think came off of a skirt or dress that I had torn up and this is just um, some more peachy little roses that I had purchased. So I just kind of made a little collage up, which I absolutely love to make collages. They're my favorite thing to make. And then I'm going to put down the ribbon that I have. I think I bought that at Hobby Lobby. So I've been trying to use it lately. And I kind of, you know, made this, this the edges 
you know, kind of raveled them a little bit to make it look a little bit more vintage. But see how the, the embroidery did around there? You kind of see it on the side. I think that made it look so pretty. And here is the beautiful picture. And you can see where I zigzagged around it. It's absolutely gorgeous. My granddaughter spent uh, last few days with me and we sleep in that bedroom when she comes and she calls this Ariel, this girl Ariel. So if you know about the, the movie, um, you'll know that who Ariel is and she does have this color hair. So <laughs> that's her name. Here's a dually that I got from my mom and I love this color. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite colors too, peach. Love peachy colors. Uh, peachy kind of rose colors, what I call it. And I'm gonna put that on there and then I have some really pretty kind of multicolor lace there that uh, I got it from my mom. I don't know where she got it, but she didn't really care for it. And I said, oh, give it to me, I'll use it. I thought it was pretty because it kind of had multiple colors on it. I don't know if somebody dyed it like that or uh, she just bought it that way. Um, but I think that's a neat, neat look. And then I've got some getting that old fabri glue off my fingers. I don't have my gloves on. So I have a little, some dangles here, just eyelash trim and just some trims that I had, uh, some lace trims and stuff. And I'm going to staple kind of them together. And then I'm going to glue it down. Sometimes I kind of, I use staple on stuff because it kind of helps it stay together when you're trying to work with it. Um, I find anyway. But you will see um, at the very end of this video, I have I have taken some pictures. I took this, this particular heart and put it back there with the picture of this lady. And this little girl, really, she's not a lady. She's a little girl, probably about, she looks about 12, 13 years old, maybe 14. Anyway, um, you'll see the how beautiful it looks with this, this little girl, this heart that I fixed up. And of course, I'm gonna use this in my bedroom back there. And here I got a flat back pearl that I'm going to put on there and some eyelash trim. And I've also got some other little different roses that I'm gonna put with it and make another little collage here. I've got about three different hearts there I'm gonna put on there and that little flat back pearl, or two hearts, take that back. But these projects are so much fun to do and um, you know, sometimes I just, like I said, I need a break from making junk journals and use my other part of my creative brain to make up something neat. And I just think they're fun to do, you know, something different every once in a while. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm in the process of working on a journal. I'm just got to embellish it and everything, but I've, I've got it all together. I just need to embellish it and put my signatures, sign my signatures in. And, um, I'll have it ready, but I do have a flip through that I'm going to be showing y'all that I just finished. So it's turned out really cute. I'm gonna do a tutorial, I mean not a tutorial. Yes, I am gonna do a tutorial on that. I decided that would be a fun tutorial to do. It's a made out of manila folders. Um, no, not folders, manila envelopes. Okay, here is a some little charms that I had. Um, this one says handmade with love and I took and put some few charms on the bottom down there where my dangles are, which I'm out of frame right now. Can't see what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, I decided to put a couple of charms down there and I thought they turned out cute. So it says handmade with love or made with love. I can't see made with love. Yeah. I got these charms, um, at Hobby Lobby, they had a bunch of little sell on some charms, which I'm always in, in, in the search for charms to go on my junk journals. Wow. Okay, that is looking so cute. 
And I made a little, um, at the very top, a little hole with the wire, and therefore I can use it with, um, and there you go. There is all the pretty pictures that I'm showing you, and I thought they turned out so, so pretty. So there's the lady in my room and the beautiful picture together. So thank y'all so much for watching, and y'all have a blessed day.